Hi there, it's Principal Fish, and I'm on campus with Assistant Principal Alan Boatman, and we are excited to share with you the details of our June 18th production day for our Arlington High School graduating seniors and families. Before we begin with the details, I want to note that as a county, we are officially in phase two of the governor's plan to reopen Washington from our COVID-19 closure which means our approved plan for the commencement filming day is guaranteed to happen here at Arlington High School. And for that, we thank you for your patience and flexibility. Now, we have some important reminders for you and information you will need prior to June 18th for this, for this event to be safe and successful for everyone. Prior to June 18th, our, senior, our seniors will need some key items that our staff will be providing every graduating senior on Friday, June 12th between noon and 4 p.m. Please make sure your student picks up a packet from Arlington High School this coming Friday between noon and 4. Information was provided in the June Family Newsletter and will also be available on our website. Also, please remember these key items for June 18th. If you are sick or exhibiting symptoms, please stay home. If you are at high risk for infection, please stay home. Only three people will be allowed to arrive on campus on June 18th for production day, a graduate and two family members. We are sorry, but there can be no exceptions. Also, personal protective equipment is highly recommended. You can always remove your face mask before you cross the stage. Please adhere to your assigned time of arrival on campus. Do not show up early and please do not be late. Just be on time. And please park according to the instructions in the information packet and as directed by the staff once you arrive on campus. Please remain in your vehicle until you walk to the stadium. We're gonna ask you to maintain social distancing with non-household members at all times. Once you've received your diploma cover, and your photo has been taken, please return directly to your car and exit the parking lot as directed. Staff will be on campus to direct you and your family members. Please follow the direction of staff. It's important that we keep the line moving and adhere to all expectations if we are to complete filming in a safe, effective, and efficient manner for everyone. Now let's take a look at how you will park and enter the stadium, social distancing line, and those types of things prior to receiving your diploma cover. On Friday the 12th, when seniors pick up their graduation package, each student will have an assigned group number with a time of arrival at AHS, a parking zone placard that will be colored for your dashboard, an index card to record your name with a proper pronunciation for the announcer and an assigned number for the social distancing line for you and your family to occupy as directed by the staff. This will all make sense to you when you show up. Now let's take a look at social distance line at the stadium and what it will look like. Graduates, please make sure your index card is filled out with your name listed, the proper way to pronounce it, and any address change you may have for your diploma to be mailed to you later this month. All families will walk from the parking lot to the north sidewalk along the stadium uh, tennis courts and into the gates behind the stadium. We will have staff here to guide you. Once behind the stadium, you will find your assigned number that will be clearly marked by a cone. These spaces are staged 10 feet apart to ensure we maintain social distance from other families. Once you arrive at the gate nearest the track and closest to the stage, you will hand your index card to the announcer who will read your name. As the graduate is filmed crossing the stage, which will be decorated with flowers, a podium, a tablecloth in an Arlington High School backdrop and those types of things and has collected his or her diploma cover, a photographer will take the student's picture in front of the special backdrop we've purchased for this commencement ceremony. The family members 
will parallel their students along the track and have the ability to take their own photos as they walk in front of the stage. It's important to note that we had administrators and other staff members give up their space in the stadium so that two family members can enjoy seeing their student graduate in person. After the photo is taken of the student by our photographer, the student will rejoin the family members and exit the field area to the south nearest the ticket booth. Woohoo! Woohoo! Staff will be there to guide the family back to their vehicles. Uh, we are asking graduates and families to exit the lot toward the front steps of the school nearest the main entrance, where the gate will be open for exit traffic opposite where families are entering the student lot. This will assure a safe entry and a safe exit for every family. Providing we adhere to all the expectations of social distancing and efficient pedestrian and traffic flow, families will spend 15 to 30 minutes on campus for this entire process. The one thing I will add is we have a lot of walking on this day and so parents and or students, if you, um, the, of those of you who are coming up to campus, if you need any assistance at all, please email or give uh, Boatman, myself, a call uh, as soon as you can and then we'll make sure that we have some uh, means to help you with our little golf cart. Uh, my number would be 360-618-6304 or you can email me at the district email aboatman at asd.wednet.edu. Thank you in advance to every family and graduate for following these important steps toward a successful commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. Congratulations everyone. We will see you all very soon. It's time to fly Eagles Fly.